rebounds. Why did you have so much success? Uh, 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 it took me a while. It took me a while to um, find my rhythm, uh, especially in the beginning of the game. You know. So how'd you find it? I just kind of kept going and going and going and going and going until uh, I started to feel comfortable out there offensively. And, um, you know, I always try to play a complete basketball game. All right, thanks very much. I just took my time. You guys had some trouble defensively at the end of regulation. You know, whatever it was, you fixed it in overtime. What did you guys do a better job of defensively? I didn't mean, communicate, man. You know, we've been playing together for so long, and all of us have been playing basketball for so long. And, uh, you know, we're not playing the game of basketball the way it should be played. We're not communicating with each other. If you go by, if you pass a park in my neighborhood, and you see guys playing three on three, all you hear is chatter, as they call it in baseball. And um, we, we don't have any chatter right now. And it's hurting us defensively. And Did you find it in the OT? We found it at times during the game. But I, I know it's something that we can do um, consistently, you know? Yeah, it'll make us a much better team. Is it something as simple as that chatter? Yeah, it's communication, you know? Things are always better when you communicate. You know, if you got a girlfriend or a girl, you know that, you know what I mean? Right? You can't just go to sleep. You got to communicate a little bit. So, uh, I mean, we, you know, we need to all communicate with each other. It just makes us stronger, you know? Especially when the ball not going in, man. Right? Is that the same respect offense? Oh, we're all right. You know, upstairs, we're all right. You know, we still have to, um, even games that we win, it's important for us to take the things um, that went wrong in this game and fix them, you know. You can, still, you can learn from your, your wins as well as your losses, you know. It make, makes you better, and that's what that's what good teams do. What's significantly attached with the overtime of the, the offensive plays you guys were making of all, you know, pretty much everyone on the team. Say it again. How how much significance would you attach in the overtime where the plays you guys are making involves you know a lot, a lot of movement, a lot of effort? Yeah, I mean we know the ball. We're tough. Everybody can pass, score, shoot, dribble. You know, on this team, and, you know, we move the ball. It helps us a lot. You know, and get Kobe to play off the ball sometimes, free him up. And when he catches the ball, you know, on the move, he, you know, obviously he brings guys towards him. And we just saw that at the end of the game when he found Powell, then got in there with for himself. Huh? I mean, I, I would think it's defense. You know, you got waving your hands frantically that one for him. Yeah, which way? Towards the end of the yeah. Huh. You got the, the top three rebound. Rebound. You got the offensive rebound. You got it back on the baseline. Hey, y'all remember that? <laughs> so good, right? I mean, you know, the best finish in the game. You know. It's up to him. You know, I don't feel any any way. He, I've seen Kobe, you know, shoot the ball over guys and make it. You know, I let him know I'm there. I think it's up to him to to make the play, no matter what. I stick with him. You know. I think seeing him early on get like seven assists like he did in the first quarter is something that uh, really pays dividends later on in the game. I mean, the, the basketball player is there for him, you know. And, and you know, we live we live with him reading the game, you know. Sometimes he's gonna shoot seven times in a row, and sometimes he's gonna draw the D and kick it. You know, we all have to find a way to you know stay prepared and stay ready and be. You're able to, to make plays, you know, down the stretch to win games defensively, offensively, loose balls, taking charges, you know, everyone being confident out there, having a set of balls is important. You, know, you, you, play with, you played with Kobe for a long time. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to get sort of used to that process? Of I mean, I knew, right? I knew him since I was, you know, 15, 16 years old, you know, he liked to shoot the ball. That's his game, right. you know. So you know, I mean, you know what to expect, you know. And, but there's so many ways that you can, you know, help a team, you know, win games. And sometimes you gotta, you know, take over yourself. You gotta, you know, what I mean? dribble pass. So you know, dribble pass him and make, make the play. Makes no difference. You know, he understands. He knows the game. He wants us all to be aggressive, just as aggressive as he is. The game against San Antonio on Thursday and this upcoming trip, I mean, I'm sure you guys obviously want the wins, but from a pure development standpoint, what do you feel you guys need to get out of these? Uh, we just got to, you know, play tough and pack the paint, be smart, don't turn it over, and well-disciplined the team, kind of 
Our team built a little bit like ours as far as the experience is concerned and playing in big games and the core of their team being together. <coughs> and, um, you know, they're playing great basketball right now. They just play. How different are they since they're uh, some of the last Spurs teams? I don't think they're really that different. You really think about it. Manu, Tim, Parker, you know, guys, and Pop, same system.